He's a MAGA influencer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Ricky Lee Wynn. He's a 39-year-old known oh, as okay. Raw okay. Ricky on social media. Mm. I, I thought I, uh, you said he had been on some of the shows. Well, I he was. Maybe he I was. He's a MAGA oh, okay. influencer that has appeared on Jesse Waters' show. He's been on Fox News. Oh. My understanding is he's also been on Newsmax. But here's why I bring this up, Herb. I bring it up because this is the guy who lives in San Francisco who blames liberals and Democrats for all the crime and all the problems in San Francisco. Meanwhile, this is the guy who's pimping out women who is now behind bars. I just find it to be very yeah. ironic. That's all I'm saying. And I don't care whether he's yeah. a MAGA Republican or not. You pimp out women. It's atrocious. It's a terrible crime. I think we both could agree on that. Doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. But the reason why I'm talking about it is because this is the guy who went on the MAGA uh, network and was blaming liberals for all the crime in San Francisco. Meanwhile, this guy is stringing women out. So I think it's important to note that. That's all. That's why I brought it up. Well, I I, 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 I know he was, uh, you say he was talking about that. I don't remember this guy, but I mean, he's got a right to talk about what's going on in San Francisco. It's kind I didn't of, it's say, kind of so, so I know, yeah. So I never said that he didn't have a right to go on a news network. What I am saying is, it's pathetic and it's an it's an example of hypocrisy. I don't think liberals force this guy to string out women. I don't think the mayor or the governor or whoever in California and San Francisco forced him to hire a woman for you know to perform sex acts on other men. Nobody forced him to be yeah. a pimp. This isn't a liberal issue. Now, this is a right. good thing. We should be praising law enforcement for catching this guy. Let's hear a MAGA Republican say, "You know what?" We might have issues in San Francisco, but let's praise the authorities for catching this guy. Why not turn this into a positive? Meanwhile, you had this clown that was on Fox News. He's a clown and a criminal. He's on Fox News complaining about all the crime in San Francisco, yet he was a part of it. It's just very hypocritical, it, yeah. very hypocritical. Well, I, 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 I agree with you, Brian. The only thing is I got to go back to a few years ago when you were had you might you had Michael Avenatti on your show every week and you endorsed him and everything he said and he's in prison. Okay, so first of all, let's let's president. okay, so, so let's hey, let's let's go for so let's so so let's go back to what you just said, which is factually inaccurate. I didn't endorse everything that he said, so that is a lie. That's number one. Number two, as <laughs> I've made this statement, well, you can laugh, but it's not true. I didn't endorse or agree with everything he said. Number two. Right now on this show, well, I can't do it now because he's dead, but I'm trying to make an analogy for you and why you're wrong. Back in the day when O.J. Simpson was alive, I would have had him on this show. I have people on the show that may or may not have committed crimes, and Michael Avenatti is a character, and while he committed some crimes and he's paid for them dearly and he's in jail now, I don't regret ever having him on my show. Because I thought it was good radio then, and it would be good radio now. There are plenty of people out there, whether you think they're good or bad people, whether they're incarcerated, whether they've committed crimes. I would have those people on this show. I would have Suge Knight on the show right now from behind bars if I could. So I don't understand why you're correlating me, who has not committed any crimes, by the way, uh, because I had somebody on the show that is in jail now sometime Somehow you have a problem with that. I I don't understand where you're going I don't with that. Have a, I don't have a I don't have a problem with it at so all. So what is your I point then? You, so what's you your point? But my point is is that while he was on your show every week, uh, I think on Wednesdays, that you always said that he wasn't innocent. You felt he was innocent and he was going to be this. Case. Okay, again, I need to guilty. again again I need to okay, clarify right, to right. you. Listen, I no, know I know I'm not going to let I'm not going to let you say things that are not true. Because you're lying, and you do this all the time when you call into this show. I personally believe that the FBI investigation into the Nike case, that I don't believe he did anything wrong, that many attorneys do what he did. Yes, he tried to get Nike for some money because he had some dirt on them and he was representing his client, and I believe many attorneys do what he did. Unfortunately, he got caught under the Trump administration. And he was very anti-Donald Trump, and part of it was political. Now, I'm not defending the other stuff, the quadruple, and I don't even know why we're talking about Michael. It's a stupid analogy. I'm talking about uh, a story of a MAGA influencer who said there was crime in San Francisco, and now he's buying bars for stringing out women. This conversation has nothing to do with Michael Avenatti.
but somehow you come on the show and you say things that are not true. I never endorsed or agreed with everything Mike Lavinati said. And I was specifically talking about, and I still believe this, by the way, the Nike case. Okay. The Nike case. Okay, he was charged and convicted in that case, and I believe he was representing his client, trying to get his client money, and many attorneys do those kinds of things and go after large companies and try to get money from them. But they went after Michael Avenatti because he had skeletons in the closet. So when you characterize saying, oh, you thought he was innocent, you're not even talking about a specific case and you don't know what you're talking about, Herb. If you're going to call into the show and you're going to say, well, Brian, you did this, then be factually accurate with it, okay? Whether someone is, is a bad person or a good person, whether someone has committed crimes or not, if I think it's good radio and they'll be a good guest, I will have them on my show. Now, if you think that's not a good thing or you think that's some sort of bad thing, Every, for the most part, every national show does that as well. So I don't understand the point you're trying to make, Herb. It's my opinion that in the Nike case, uh, he should not have been charged. Uh, the other cases, no, I think he, he, he did some horrible things and that's why he's behind bars right now. So Herb, I don't know what else you, you're, you're, you're this Daniels. conversation. I'm sorry, excuse me. What, what about Stormy Daniels case? What about he Stormy Daniels? Money. You want to, you want to go he through that case now? Book. So do you have any no, idea what you're all, all I'm saying? Is do you have any idea? So what did he sign? Okay, so let's talk about that. Again, you're talking about a case no, no, where you don't have a lot of knowledge. No, no you brought it up. No, 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 no. You brought it up. So now I'm going to expose. What did he, what did he, uh, what did Stormy Daniels sign him for? What did she pay uh, Michael Avenatti for, uh, for his representation? Are you aware? You brought it up. So you were you I, I, no, you, you brought were, it up. You brought up Stormy Daniels. You were in his corner. Uh, uh, sir, I need you to answer the question. I need Three, you to focus. I need you to focus. You're not focusing, Herb. You just brought up Stormy Daniels. I'm now asking you a question because I don't think you know anything about any of these cases. What did Stormy Daniels sign Michael Avenatti to? Uh, answer the I'm question. Say one more thing. No, you're not going to say one more thing. You're going to answer my question. Every time you bring something up, you have no idea what you're talking about. So now I, I'm getting you again and I'm questioning you. You just brought up. So, will you be quiet and listen, Herb? You just brought up Stormy Daniels. So now I'm going to ask you a question. Are you aware as to what Stormy Daniels paid Mike Lavinati for his representation? Are you aware? Mm -hmm. I can care less. Okay, well, uh, you're the idiot who brought up Stormy Daniels, and now all of a sudden, when we want to go into the specifics, you could care less. Herb, you have no idea what you're talking about with any of these cases. You have no idea what my opinions are on Michael Avenatti. You have no idea how radio works. All I was doing by starting this conversation with you when you brought up San Francisco, which I think we agree on, is that you had a MAGA influencer, by the way, has nothing to do with Michael Avenatti, a MAGA influencer who was complaining about the crimes in San Francisco. And then you have this same guy who made appearances on Fox News, Jesse Waters and others, who is now behind bars for pimping out women. That's the only point I was making. The people that cry about the LGBT community are usually people that are gay that are afraid to come out of the closet. The people that complain about drag queens are usually the people that love drag queens in private. So... That's the only point I was trying to make. It's called hypocrisy, Herb, and that has nothing to do with Michael Avenatti. So well, go let ahead. Let me just say one more thing, please, Brian. Please, Let I'm, me say one more thing. I'm sure, it'll be let factually me say one more thing. I'm sure it'll be factually accurate. Go ahead. Brian, yeah, let me say one more thing. I think, and I've been wanting to say this for the last couple of weeks, but I want to say thank you a day before Thanksgiving. You did more to get Donald Trump reelected than anybody in the Las Vegas. And how did I do that? And how did I do that, Herb? And how did I? I'll tell you how. Yeah, tell me how, Herb. Every how did I get Donald Trump elected? Every uh -huh. day you came on the air uh -huh. and you trashed him. Every time he got an indictment, his ratings went up. In the polls, he went up. Well, because Every there's, you know why? Because there's, because there's a lot of idiots like you that'll vote for him. And there's a lot of idiots out there when he gets indicted, you'll make him out to be some sort of patriot or champion. Somehow me on the air every day calling out the things that he says and the things that he does and, and, and separating fic fact from fiction. Somehow you would correlate that to Brian, you helped Donald Trump get elected. No, let me tell you how Donald Trump got elected because of idiots like you, Herb, Donald Trump got elected because of dumbasses like you. Donald Trump got elected because of uneducated fools like you that can't separate fact from fiction, that don't think he's committed any crimes. They think you think he's the next messiah and that Joe Biden is responsible for all of your problems, Herb. OK, you don't sound. No. Yeah. See, now he laughs. He, he's, he's laughing because I get him off here. He's laughing because I got him. 
Herb got Donald Trump elected. There are a lot of herbs in this country. There are herbs in this country that are uneducated. There are the herbs in this country that are ill-informed. Just in this one phone call, he said five or six things that are completely not factually accurate about me, not factually accurate about Michael Avenatti, not factually accurate about how Donald Trump got elected. The main reason why Donald Trump got elected is because of people like Herb who are ill-informed and who are brainwashed and sadly are not very intelligent people. Herb might be a nice guy. I don't know. I don't know him personally. Might be a nice guy. He's very ill-informed. And then he'll bring up a topic and then I'll question him on the details of that topic. And all of a sudden he doesn't care and he doesn't want to talk about it. Herb, make no mistake about it. The main reason why Donald Trump was elected because of people like you. You're the reason why we have a 30 court for the 34 count felon liable sexual abuser that is going to be going back to the white house. So Herb, when you look at your daughter or your wife or whatever woman in your life, and they ask you, why did you vote for a liable abuser? Why did you vote for a adjudicated rapist? You go ahead and you can lie and you can tell your daughter, I voted for him because of Brian Shapiro. Go ahead and do that because you're a coward. When the real reason why you voted for him is because you're a moron.